Historical Timeline of Scientific Inventions in the Philippines The Philippines, which is a third world country, have come a long way when it comes to the agriculture, industrial, and lifestyle development in the country. Science and technology played a big role with regards to these improvements, especially when the Filipinos became under the influence of the Spaniards. For 333 years, the Filipinos were colonized by the Spaniards. Due to this, most of the Filipino cultures have become greatly infused with their traditions and way of living. Pre-Spanish Period This period is heavily reliant on the archaeological findings and there's only been little written information when it comes to society, culture, and technology. The following items shown are one of the earliest recorded artifacts and clues on how the early Filipinos lived. Iron slags, pottery, and shell or glass ornaments have been used during the 1st century AD. This has been called the Iron Age. Copper, gold, bronze, and iron were used to make these tools. This suggests that Filipino have engaged in the actual extraction of iron from ore, smelting, and refining. They were also engaged in the agriculture. The Iron Age lasted until the 3rd century BC to the 11th century AD. A refined plant built warship called Karakoa was built. They were suited for inter-island trade rates. Later on, the Spaniards utilized the Filipinos' expertise in boat building and seamanship to fight the raiding enemies as well as build the galleons. The Banawi rice terrace is among the sophisticated products of engineering by pre-Spanish era Filipinos. The Banawi rice terrace is an ancient man-made structure said to date back to 1000 to 6000 years that were carved into the Ifugao in Cordillera Mountains in the Philippines by ancestors of the indigenous people. It was also included in the seven wonders of the world. The alphabet was already established in the pre-Spanish period. One of the most common alphabets is the Baybayin. Contrary to popular belief, Baybayin does not encompass the entirety of the Philippines' writing systems. Baybayin is, in fact, only one of a number of writing systems that were in use before the Spanish arrived on our shores. Surat, for example, belonged to the Mangyan group Mindoro. Spanish Colonial Period By the time the Spaniards came to colonize the Philippines, they made great contributions in the growth of science and technology in the country. Formal education and scientific institutions were given great importance. The Spaniards have established colleges and universities around the country, such as the Colegio de San Ildefonso, currently known as USC, Ateneo de Manila University, and including the oldest university in Asia, the University of Santo Tomas. Schools' establishments were given a great deal of importance. Access to these schools were limited to the elite of the colonial society. Primary instruction during the Spanish regime was generally taken care of by the missionaries and parish priests in the villages or towns. Religious education was the primary subject. The Galleon trade made a big impact in the economic growth of the Philippines. Spaniards gave priority to the Galleon trade due to its potential to make huge profits. The Suez Canal is a man-made waterway connecting to the Mediterranean Sea to the Indian Ocean via the Red Sea. It enabled a more direct route for shipping between Europe and Asia, thus dramatically reducing transit time for trade worldwide. During this time where trading was at its peak, agriculture and industrial development were relatively neglected. The opening of the Swiss Canal also made a huge contribution since it saw the influx of European visitors, the Spanish colony, and some Filipinos were able to study in Europe, who were probably influenced by the rapid development of scientific ideals brought by the Age of Enlightenment. American Period and Post-Commonwealth Era The Americans replaced the Spaniards after they ruled the country. Science and technology in the Philippines advanced rapidly during the American region due to the simultaneous government encouragement and support for an extensive public education system. The Bureau of Government Laboratories was established on July 1, 1901 by the Philippine Commission. It served a purpose to study the tropical disease and laboratory projects of the country. This was replaced by the Bureau of Science in 1905, which became the primary research center in the Philippines. 
The National Research Council of the Philippines was established on December 8, 1933. It was during this period when science was inclined towards agriculture, food processing, forestry, medicine, and pharmacy, and not much focus were given on the development of industrial technology due to free trade policy in the United States that nurtured an economy geared towards agriculture and trade. The Bureau of Science was established on January 13, 1987 and it was replaced by the Institute of Science in 1946. In 1950, the U.S. Economy Survey reported that the Philippines had problems with regards to science and technology such as lack of basic information, no support, minimal budget, and low compensation. In 1958, during Carlos P. Garcia's regimen, the Philippines Congress passed the, the Science Act of 1958 bill which aimed to establish the National Science Development Board. Marcos Era It was during President Marcos' presidency where the advancement of science and technology was given utmost importance. The Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, OPAGASA, was established on December 8, 1972 to give environmental protection and to utilize scientific knowledge to ensure the safety of the nation. In his State of Nation Address, Marcus declared that there is need for science in public high school. In 1968, he also recognized that technology was the top reason in economic development and gave extra funds to support projects in applied science and science education. Allocation of extra funds regarding the advancement of science and technology still went on even after a few years. Fifth Republic this era marked the continuous progress of science and technology in the country. To name a few more of President Marcos' advancements, we have the following. Philippine Coconut Research Institute to the NSDB to modernize the coconut industry. The Philippine Textile Research Institute. The Philippine Atomic Energy Commission which explored the uses of atomic energy for economic development. During Corazon Aquino's presidency, the National Science and Technology Authority was replaced by the Department of Science and Technology, giving science and technology a representation in the cabinet. The presidents that followed also prioritized the development of science and technology in the Philippines, but instead of inventions, bills, reforms, and other advocacies were pushed through. And that is the historical timeline of scientific inventions in the Philippines. Thank you for watching.